What's going on everyone? I'm David Kozlowski and I'm here to give you 50 facts about Machu Picchu in just under five minutes. Are you ready? Let's go. Machu Picchu was an astronomy observatory here in Bingham brought the site to world attention. The city was never actually the lost city of the Incas, that's right, there were actually three farmers living on the site already when it was rediscovered. Machu Picchu was constructed between 1450 and 1460. Machu Picchu means old peak or old mountain. Spanish conquistadors never conquered Machu Picchu, there's actually no evidence that the Spanish made it to Machu Picchu, but there are some assumptions that disease reached Machu Picchu from the Spanish, resulting to its abandonment. The Inca Empire was much more widespread than Peru, they were actually an Argentina, Bolivia, Ecuador, and Chile. At the peak of the Incan Empire, many influential world events had not taken place, like Columbus hadn't sailed to America, and Leonardo da Vinci hadn't painted the Mona Lisa. The official purpose of the site is unknown. There are many theories, but no one really actually knows because the Incas actually didn't even have a written language at the time. The famous Inca Trail was a religious path to Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu can't fall. Yep, that's right. It legit cannot fall. The wheel wasn't used to transport the stones because they didn't have the wheel yet. There's an extensive network of water channels and conduits within the grounds. There are more than 150 buildings within the complex. Most of Machu Picchu is made up of granite. The rest is held together by limestone. Most of what's seen in Machu Picchu today is original. 60% of the construction is located underneath the surface. Machu Picchu is split into two different zones. The southern part of the city, which was used for farming, while the north side was used for buildings. Machu Picchu is only 13 square kilometers making it a fairly small city. Wanu Picchu Mountain housed the high priest and the local virgins. When the Spanish invaded the Incas, the Incas nearly destroyed all the roads leading to Machu Picchu in order to protect it, including most of the Inca Trail. Machu Picchu's elevation is lower than Cusco. A grass bridge provided a secret entrance into Machu Picchu for the army. Yep, that's right, grass. It's legit. Look it up. It's crazy, and there's one today. In the Inca times, there were only two ways in and out of Machu Picchu. We're going to come back to that in a second. There are wet and dry seasons. The majority of the annual rainfall is between October into April, whereas in June, July, August, the tourism has an all-time high and little to no rainy days. Because of the thick cloud forest, there is still much of Machu Picchu yet to be discovered. No joke. There are so many clouds, they discovered more terraces in 2011, which is crazy because we have satellites that can see my face from space right now, and I have a phone in my pocket that I can literally Google Earth my house. Yet, we're still discovering parts of Machu Picchu, a place that, I don't know, 1.3 million people travel to a year, which is crazy, but I digress and continue. The location of Machu Picchu was extremely important to the Incas. It was a spiritual site. Machu Picchu is located in the Vacante Mountain Range. Machu Picchu is located on two fault lines. Machu Picchu flooded in 2010. Machu Picchu is not the only archaeological site in Peru. There are only two ways to get to Machu Picchu today. There are also two hikes in addition to viewing Machu Picchu, that being Wanu Picchu and Machu Picchu Mountain. On average, 1.3 million people visit Machu Picchu yearly. Only 2,500 tourists are allowed in Machu Picchu a day. You can get a stamp of Machu Picchu at the entrance of Machu Picchu for your passport. You can follow Hiram Bingham's original path from 1911 leading to his discovery of Machu Picchu. There are no bathrooms beyond the entrance inside of Machu Picchu. There are only two time slots to enter Machu Picchu, morning and afternoon. The Temple of the Sun is one of the three important temples that visitors are able to see at Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is one of the seven new wonders of the world. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There's a no-fly zone over Machu Picchu. You cannot visit wearing their country's folkloric attire. This one's actually really interesting. The Peruvian government doesn't allow you to show up and say a Scottish kilt or a German Lietohosen, just as some examples. Machu Picchu is on the World Monuments Watch List of 100 Most Endangered Sites. In fact, Finland agreed to trade 25% of Peru's outstanding national debt, nearly 6 million USD, in exchange for conservation programs. The Inti Hautana Stone was damaged permanently in 2001 after a Peruvian beer company sneaked in equipment on site to shoot a music video. Just kidding, it was a TV ad, but still horrible. The camera crane operator was then sentenced to six years in jail. Hiram Bigot's team excavated more than 40,000 artifacts during his exploration and stored them at Yale University. There is a yearly marathon foot race along the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu. There is a hidden temple that can be explored for those hiking to Wanu Picchu. A local family actually claims that they continue to own Machu Picchu and they may have proof. This one is nuts and all the info is in our blog post below. So go ahead and click on that. That is 50 facts in less than five minutes. What do I got for a time? That's right. I'm David Kozlowski. Happy travels.